how I actually stopped procrastinating. Around two years ago when I was still in school, I wanted to have the chance to fulfill my dream of succeeding as an entrepreneur. The problem was that I was just constantly procrastinating as part of my everyday life. I was supposed to study or to work, but I always procrastinated. I always distracted myself with doing something that felt more fun. I tried to learn all the procrastination hacks that I saw, the two minute rule, the one, two, three rule, everything, but none of them worked. And I started to think that maybe that's just who I am. Then I got into self-development and I started learning more about building productive habits and mental health. I remember reading The Compound Effect and after I took action on what I learned in that book, that's when everything changed. I finally figured out how I could actually stop procrastinating. I was finally able to work consistently every day and this didn't only help me with studying, but it also helped me with fulfilling my desire to have the chance to work as an entrepreneur. Now, if I didn't learn this, you wouldn't see this video because I would still be distracting myself on Netflix or social media. The thing that changed everything for me was routine. We can try 100 different tricks to stop procrastinating. Some might work for a few times, but the only way we can consistently study or work is if we make it into a routine. This is the secret if we want to start doing anything consistently. Work, studying, work out, read, meditate. The only sure way to consistently do these things is if we have a routine on when and how to do them. Actionable steps. Create your own routine. I know most people watching this won't do this, but if you do, this might be exactly the same type of turning point I experienced when I first created my routine. Take a pen and a paper and we'll create the routine together. So first, what activities is it that you want to stop procrastinating on? Is it studying, working out, reading, working, meditate? Just think about your answers for now. Second, what's the most important activity out of those ones? Still, just think about your answer. Don't write anything out yet. The key is to do the most important tasks in the morning. So let's say that your most important task is work or studying. From now on, you will do that for 30 minutes in the morning. If you don't have the time to do this before school or work, then make the time. Wake up 30 minutes earlier than you usually do. The reason this is so important is because in the mornings when we wake up, our brain is as fresh as possible. We haven't checked our phone, we haven't seen the news, nothing has influenced us yet, so we will be at our peak capacity. Now, write on the left side of the paper the time you wake up, and this includes the 30 minutes earlier if that's what you need to do. Then you can give yourself between 10 to 20 minutes of time to make yourself comfortable before your 30 minute work session. This means going to the toilet, brewing your morning coffee, doing your morning meditation or filling up a water bottle. Whatever you need to do except checking your phone. Don't do that. So right now you should have a schedule that looks something like this. If you don't, then take some time to write out the schedule now. After we're done with our morning work session, we give ourselves some type of reward for completing the work. Then we can treat ourselves through looking at our phone or eating a nice breakfast. Your schedule should look something like this now. Now you're most likely done with your schedule and you've already done something most people struggle with the most. And that is take action on advice. So give yourself a tap on the shoulder. Good job. What I did is that I put this schedule on my wall. So I was constantly reminded of it. I started with exactly the same schedule you have in front of you right now. Then, as I started getting consistent, I added more habits into my schedule. After a few weeks, I had built a schedule for my whole week. I'll try to bring up some picture. This is something that you can do as a step two after you follow this for a while. But for now, step number one is getting the morning routine right. So for now, try out this morning routine for the next two weeks. Look at it as an experiment. It's pretty exciting to see how much you can change in just two weeks through doing this. I remember the biggest thing that changed for me when I first started with this schedule was how I viewed myself. We will improve our self-image and we will start viewing ourselves in a more positive way because we will have clear evidence for ourselves that we can work and we will be so proud of the progress that we're currently making. Share your results in the comments after you've done this. I want to read your story. That's all I have to say in this video. I'm out.